Leaders working to come together after former President Donald Trump created a divide in the party. Fox 2's Charlie Langton live from the conference now. And what's it going to take, Charlie? Well, it's going to take some unity here. I'll tell you what, one of the big issues here at this Republican Leadership Conference is Donald Trump. Uh, he's not running next year, but who knows? He may be running. But there seems to be a division amongst the party here about the Donald Trump factor. Well, Rona Romney McDaniel, she is not only the chair of the entire Republican Party for the whole country, but she's a native Michigander. She's from here. And I got a chance to talk to her about the party and Michigan. Here she is. Are you no. following Michigan politics? I follow Michigan politics all the time. I live here. I my kids are in, my son's in school here. My husband's here. This is my home. But you're traveling all over the country. I'm though. all over the country. I actually live on airplanes, but um, I love Michigan. I love Michigan. And it's been hard for me to watch what's happened under Gretchen Whitmer. Okay, but you know what, though? The people that I've talked to around here, they see that there's a division of politics of Republicans. Some are Trump supporters, some are not. Do you agree with that? You know what? We'll have some little infighting, but at the end of the day, we all are seeing what's happening under Biden. We're seeing the inflation in Michigan. You go around to any restaurant, you go to any small business, you know they, they can't get workers. You know that many of them are shuttering their doors or shutting their businesses earlier than ever. We have a problem in our state right now, and it's coming from Washington, D.C. and our governor. Gas prices are up 42%. Our kids weren't in school last year. I know this as a mom of a son who was virtual last year. It's really been hard. Is the mask issue something that Republicans should be more in favor of? You know, I think it's more about freedom and letting people make decisions. I had COVID, I've had two vaccines, so maybe let me make a decision with my doctor and maybe not have politicians make those decisions for me. And I do think there's been a lot of muddled messaging. Joe Biden said masked or vaxxed, and now he's changing it.